Part 122, silkscreen, stencil techniques using the computer screen. What I have here is uh, a monitor screen. I found the silhouette and I had to size it to get it to the correct size. So on the Mac, the key to the left of the spacebar is the command key and you can hit command and minus and you go uh, small plus you increase the size. On the PC, the key to the left of the space bar is the control key. Hit control, press control, and while control is pressed, hit the plus increase size or the minus side sign to decrease the size of the silhouette. And uh, then, you know, how big does it need to be? Well, I took my 9 by 12 piece of uh, paper and literally just put it right up on there to get an idea of how it fits in there. Got the right size and then more than one way to do this. One technique is to literally put your piece of mylar right up here and you could uh, do a sharpie trace over it, right? And so, um, you know, I did that earlier and just to show you, you know, there's my sharpie trace. And then what I would do is uh, lay that on top of uh, a light, I was going to say a light table. If you don't have a light table, you can put it up against uh, a window or something. That's just one way. Uh, another way is to put your mylar on top of the monitor and then take a piece of your, your vellum and uh, let me put some tape on it. And uh, we'll literally... Put the vellum and place it on the piece of mylar. And the reason we're doing that is to protect the monitor, the surface of the monitor, because we're going to take a pencil and just very gently trace. Just very gently. Don't press very hard. You don't want to hurt the monitor screen. And this trace... is um, all you need to take it to the cutting table and trace it like that. So again, the, the mylar here is protecting that screen. I'm not pressing hard at all. Um, this looks pretty dark, but that's because this is a, uh, um, a 6B pretty soft pencil. But any number two pencil would work. You don't need it to be that dark. And just don't press very hard. That's probably about the easiest way to, to go about doing this. And uh, you have a ton of different things online there that you can pick. This came from some uh, clip art site.